welcome back to another video i just wanted to create like a quick video where i can show you how better things are now when it comes to creating websites with react native or expo so the site i'm gonna demo right now is a airbnb clone uh, which has been created using expo or react native and it has other third-party libraries like a ui library which is ua the glue stack ui and you have also the Adobe Aria components as well in here. So I'm just going to start this app up with yarn start. Or I could also go yarn web as well to quickly go to the web. And I'll press W in this case. This should load the site. And just like that, we have the site loaded. And we currently see the mobile view of the app. Of the website and uh, we see there's the bottom tab navigation but then also another thing as well we have scrolling as well this is typical for a mobile app so look what happens when I actually open up or expand the view it changes the layout changes to the tablet mode and then I go further it will sh change again to like the full desktop view so this is using React Native web in the background and you're able to still use the different components. You can change the, the mode, stack mode, light mode, and you have your components as well, which you have. You can do play around with it and uh, see how everything works. This is typically your tablet view then make it smaller you can add a listing this is just UI at the moment uh, nothing functional uh, you can see the folders but look at how beautiful this bottom tab or the slider is coming up and this is all web and you can see the animation happening here this is react native web guys it's actually getting real and with what is happening with Expo router and having uh, the ability to add your back end into your file, we just might not even need Next.js anymore. So once again, let me just run, let me do a quick run through uh, on the code. So basically we have, uh, like on the app.tsx, we have our app, main app here and it's being wrapped by the different providers. In this case, there's provided for the theme, for the UI, and also uh, for the SSR is, is the ARIA components, which are by like similar to the web uh, equivalent uh, for components. We have also export for fonts as well, meaning that for a different uh, orientations or, or, or media size, we can change the fonts accordingly. Uh, there's not really much after that on this, uh, just like the like the theme that we're using. And then this is using that theme provider, which is native to uh, React. Um, then we can just go to the actual home page and uh, Go there, and then here, what you can see is that we're gonna look slightly different because it's using the theme from from like glue stack. Um, but really, what is what is happening here? We have uh, views, and then each view can be like viewed as a box, and then we can it can occupy the full width, and then we using m media queries for. For the sizes, for example, here we have that this MD, uh, mean that like after it increases to a certain size, you don't you don't want it to display display none. And then that's your bottom tabs. Remember, the bottom tabs are only available for the mobile view. So anything bigger than that, we really don't need the bottom tabs. Um, and then we have the the header as well. So the header is what you can see here. 
So currently we have the logo and then we have the header tabs. Also here we have like a different section uh, or components which are for the small screens and um, for mobile we mainly want this search bar and then as you grow the screen it changes now slightly so so we're using media queries for that and we're also using uh this field over here to make sure that it shows for certain screen sizes um yeah that's pretty much it there and then we can go to say the banner which is a simple banner at the top I don't, there's not really much i can say there and if if you want an in-depth video tutorial on on this uh screen on this website i uh, do subscribe and also put a go to the link in the description as well you can get the code instantly you can just like uh clone the code from github and if you're looking forward for more content like this if you're looking forward for more in-depth video it's coming up uh subscribe and if you're looking for more content like this once again <laughs> just subscribe <laughs> okay cool cheers y'all have a great one